Hi, my name is Kyle Brill, and I'm a uh, student, PhD student here in the Geological Mining and Engineering Sciences uh, here at Michigan Tech. Uh, I do my research on volcanoes and seismic signals that are emitted from volcanoes in Guatemala. Um, these volcanoes are, are very beautiful to look at and they're, uh, the fact that they emit new material from the depths of the earth means that the soil around them is very fertile and so a lot of people like to live very close. Um, so we need to figure out more about how these volcanoes erupt and when they can become dangerous so that we can give those people as much warning as possible when a uh, situation does become dangerous. And so to do that, we look at a lot of the frequencies and the, the seismic signals that are emitted from these volcanoes. Uh, we see very interesting uh, spectral signals coming from these time series and from how the volcanoes actually vibrate and shake and move. Um, that really tell us a lot about how the system changes over time. So by monitoring these, we can get an idea of number one, what the system looks like below ground, and number two, how these things actually uh, when they might become dangerous to the people. So our models for how these actually work um, are you have magma that's rising from depth and you have these cracks forming along the sides that as gas escapes and you see these nice uh, ashy plumes that come out, um, sometimes if, that, if there's not a lot of ash, you can actually get the walls of those cracks moving back and forth and those actually are responsible for causing the vibrations that we're seeing. And so when those change over time, we if they get bigger, if they, they change their frequencies, we can tell if they're getting bigger or shrinking, which would mean, shrinking would mean that ever, the system could be pressurizing and therefore could be getting ready for a big boom. And if they show a general trend of expanding, uh, it could be showing that the volcano is actually getting ready to fall down and that we should start evacuating people uh, very quickly.